Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is here are five reasons why self-pleasure is good for you. Self-pleasure is a huge taboo topic and I'm engaging into it very, very carefully. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, okay? This is not trying to force something on you if that video and what I'm saying here is not for you, it's no problem, okay? I'm not planning here to engage into any form of argument and debate. I'm talking about personal experience and what I have been noticing in coaching tantric sex contexts and uh, what happens when you actually use self-pleasure tactics, techniques, as a way of enhancing, cultivating, uh, discovering your life. So here are some of the, the, the benefits or some of the reasons why self-pleasure might really open your life to a whole new dimension. The first aspect, first reason is that it activates your sensual body. So we live in a world which is extremely practical geared, you know, lots of mental activity, lots of cell phone technology, being with behind a screen and not having so many opportunities to reconnect with ourselves. So techniques that involve meditation, breathing, some yoga, some physical practice, all that is great to bring back the attention to yourself. But now think about the, the pleasure of the senses. Think about rediscovering sensations and activating them in your body. So cultivating pleasure is a very beautiful thing. It doesn't mean that you have to obsess about it. It doesn't mean that you need to become addicted to it. It means that you can tame and play with sensations in your body, in your energy body. And the way to do that very often is through self-pleasure, sensual exploration. Another aspect, which is very important, is that it allows you to train your sexual response. Suppose that you have been traumatized by some very negative sexual experience when you were younger. And then you walk with this trauma, you walk with this anger or this frustration or lack of sensitivity in your genitals, for instance. When you start exploring your body with your own hands and start reactivating sexual energy inside of you, what you do is that you are owning back your sexual power, your sexual energy, rather than locking it into a traumatic or abusive experience. So basically it's a way of reclaiming your sexual power, sexual energy, and allowing that energy to start circulating in your system. So that's another very powerful point. Another point is that it allows you to surf the orgasmic wave. When you are engaged in lovemaking with your partner, very often you don't have the time to really observe and analyze what is the point of no return, what happens when you actually have a peak orgasm, and what happens when you don't. How can you have uh, a climbing of orgasmic response and keep on increasing the sensations and uh, the activation space of your orgasmic wave. You keep on activating it and instead of ejaculating or instead of having a peak orgasm, you keep on climbing that wave. So very often when you're engaging with a partner, you don't have really time to focus on the steps because there is too much passionate energy and therefore you don't have the awareness. Whereas if you take the time by yourself to measure the level of activation that you can take without reaching the point of no return, it will allow you to learn how to navigate, how to surf this orgasmic wave. And the best way to explore that is through self-pleasure practices. Another aspect that is very important, and maybe some people will disagree with that, um, it is simply as an energy release technique. Again, I'm not talking about having self-pleasure and going all the way to a peak orgasm, but simply activating your sensuality 
and playing with it will give you a space where you can refocus your energy, calm down after a very intense day of work and bring back uh, an intention and consciousness into your body. So that allows you to focus back the energy on yourself and very often recreate a stream of energy where you know, your, your whole system might be locked after lots of tension, a big fight at work or something, some stress that is going on. So it allows you to have um, a one-on-one -on -one time with yourself where you are going to give yourself some nurturing bliss. Another point to understand is that you can use self-pleasure as a spiritual activation technique. You know, it's literally like a form of meditation. And within the tantric sex context, that's something that is totally okay. It's totally within the range of what you can practice and experiment with. Um, what I mean by that is that activating your sex, sexual energy by yourself while you use a mantra, while you use a breathing technique, it can take you into states of bliss and powerful uh, energetic activation that you would not touch otherwise. So using, consciously using the activation of your sexual energy is a powerful way to, you know, activate your chakras, bring energy all over your system and enter into a state of bliss. In my own personal experience and in the experiences that I've seen in other people, you know, being able to, uh, to, uh, to expand your consciousness and expand your spiritual power through self-pleasure techniques is one of the great gifts that we have as human beings. Another important point about self-pleasure is that it allows you to reclaim your sexual energy. Very often, through sexual conditioning, there is going to be lots of guilt and lots of shame projected on any form of sexual action. You know, if you are, um, if you have been exposed to some uh, traumatic experience again, where somebody saw you as a teenager masturbating or touching yourself, and then put this, this, this uh, uh, projection of guilt and shame on you, or you felt really hurt by that experience, then eventually it can create an energetic lock where you feel like your sexual energy is surrounded by a lot of negative emotions. So re-engaging into sexual practices through self-pleasure might activate that flow of energy and clear a lot of the shame and guilt that you can have around that. So basically, it means reclaiming your sexual energy and saying to yourself, pleasure is good. I'm allowed to do that. It's, there is nothing shameful. I'm enjoying it. It's beautiful. It's an expression of my own uh, right to use my body in whatever way I want. Another important point about self-pleasure is that you have a lot of techniques, self-pleasure techniques, that don't involve genital touch. In another video, I will cover more of that because very often when people think about self-pleasure, they think genital touch, massaging your lingam or touching your clitoris if you're a woman and uh, reaching a peak orgasm through these techniques. And that's a very limited, limited um, perception of what self-pleasure is about. Self-pleasure can be much, much more than that. For instance, sensual touch with oil on the totality of your body, so activating sensations everywhere. You can combine sensations, uh, these kind of sensations with, with a mantra or an energy technique that is going to activate your sexual energy, but without a strong peak activation on your, your genitals. So I will cover more of that in another video. For now, remember that uh, self-pleasure is good. If you are in the process of rediscovering that, just take the time to watch, you know, watch this video again and, and, and check for yourself. What is it? What is your, your natural feeling about, about that? Again, if you disagree with that, it's no problem, okay? We are, we are in this planet with a diversity of ideas and opinions, and uh, I totally respect your opinion no matter what. Have fun. I'll see you soon.